Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about how I created this online t-shirt store using Strikingly with a custom logo. We got our multiple pages and custom images. I added the product, did the images in Canva. I will show it to you guys. And then we did the discount coupon. Also, we did the live chat. So you can set it up all in Strikingly and I will show you guys exactly how to do it. So let's start. I used Strikingly to uh, create this uh, online store for the, for the t-shirts, but if you haven't subscribed to the Strikingly free account, I suggest you do that. I have the link in the description and once you have your account, you can do that. When you log into Strikingly, you can uh, click on create new site. Now once you click that, it will take you to the uh, template selection. Now they got a variety of templates already and they're mobile optimized so you don't have to worry about anything. Um, you just simply go to the template that you like. We're going to do the online store so uh, I will just select online store and when you click more it will give you more categories. Uh, since we have the website for fashion and clothing we click on that so it will filter out all the templates. Now this is the one I want to use and uh, once you have selected your template you simply click on start editing. When you click on create a new site and then select the template, it will bring you to the editing panel where you can upload, change or edit any images, any text right on the website. So we'll start with editing the home page. First, I'm going to be changing the images. So to change the image, you simply click on image and link and then you click on upload image. Now, when you click on it, it will give you, uh, you know, three different options. So first one is upload new image or uploaded images that you have already uploaded to Strikingly platform. If you haven't done that yet, you can select the Strikingly library. So it gives you all the options all the stock free images that you can use you can uh, choose to search whether you want to do a t-shirt since we're doing a t-shirt store you can just search for it and select the relevant images you like but i'm not going to be using the image for the first section of my header so i will do a solid color i will select this one I like it and then we'll just write a heading uh, when you have selected the color you simply click on save and then you can write whatever you want to write here you can also change the size of the font when you have the font you want to change the size to you select it and then uh, click on the font orientation and we're going to go with the heading 2 this looks good i will make this bold and now it looks better so i'm satisfied with it you can also add a button here when you click on it it will ask you what kind of button you want to do you can design the button as well and um, i just don't want the button so i'll remove it and we're good with this one if you want to add another image i will change this one too you click on image and link again you click on upload image and this time i'm going to use the library so let's see i will search for better images and i will go with this one now we have the header ready. So the next part is we do the products. So when you scroll down, it will give you the, uh, the product section. So what you have to do, just click on it and it will take you to the product section. You can add a new product by simply clicking on add new product. Once you do that, it will ask what kind of product you're dealing in. It is physical service or digital download. And we're doing physical products. So we just have to add the title of it, product description, the prices if you have variants like size small medium large or the colors and you can also adjust the weight and you can also assign the products to different product categories um, i will show you how to create product categories and assign the product next you can add more details about the product right here when you select show more details on the product page when you select it it will give you this text box you can also add more images and more text about the products so i will be using chat gpt to write product description for this particular product and I will show you guys how I do that. Once you have given it a prompt, I have uh, selected that write me a short description for this to use it on my online store. Now this is the product description that we're going to be using so you simply copy it and paste it in more description. Now I have my product page description in place so I will just uh, go with that to upload the product images you just select upload image and I got my images already uploaded to strikingly so I will select these two and edit so all these product images are done now we'll do the item weight so I got my uh, weight as 0 0.30 kg and you can do based on your product you can also update the price just uh, mention the price whatever you want to work with and uh, you can change the stock option as well so we're gonna do 10 for this one 
Now, since I have more than one variant, more than one sizes for this t-shirt, you can add more variants by clicking on add variant. But I like to do it uh, this way. So when you click on add variant, it will give you this option, edit option combination. So select this and I have size, which is small. Hit enter to update all the variants. And I got multiple sizes, so I will do that right now. And I also have the color for the t-shirt but i have just one color so i will just keep it to one option for now and once you hit save you can uh, update the prices for every variant individually i have the same price for it but i like to keep my stock to a limited amount so i will just update them as 10 for each and once you have done that your product is ready you can hit save now the next thing I want to do is the update the product category. So I will be adding three different categories. The number one would be on white. Number two is on black and others. So we have three different categories. Now, as you can see, it says no products in this particular category to assign the categories to specific products. You can select, go back to the product and then select the product you want to add to the category and now this time it will show you the drop down menu since you have the product categories in place already you simply have to select the category you want to assign this product to i will select on white and we're good i'm gonna hit save again and it will add the product to that specific category once you go back to the product categories it will show one product so what i'm gonna do i will add more products to the website and then we'll move on to the next now I have added all the product that I want to work with. I have assigned the categories and uh, you can see that I have four products, three and six products in each of these categories. And then we'll move on to the shipping part. Now the shipping comes set up as default. So if you want to set up a different shipping for your products, you simply select the shipping part and then it will take you to this pop-up where you can edit or customize the option. So I've selected flat rate per item. It comes default selected as global option the world but you don't want to do that until unless you really want to ship to the whole world i'm not going to be doing it i will just uh, be shipping to united states so i've selected 56 regions united states you can search the country by typing in the name and you can also add free shipping to a specific amount of orders and i've selected 299 will grant them free shipping and then you just want to do the tax. So the tax is flat rate tax, US state sales tax. Now you can select US state tax and then add all the taxes if you know about them or you can just Google it and up update um, individual state tax by yourself. But if you don't want to do that, I will go with the flat tax rate and it will be 2% and then hit update. The product review section lets you uh, approve or reject any of the product reviews but this uh, comes with the pro subscription. I already got the pro subscription and I will be using it later down the road. Now, the next part is the store setting. It lets you set up your payments, email notification, coupons, membership, buy now button, checkout form, page redirection and abandoned cart recovery. So the membership and the abandoned cart comes with only the pro subscription and the vip subscription i already have that so i will show you guys how to set this up first let's set up the payments and currency now to set up payments you can go from here or you can go back to the settings pane and then it will take you to domains basic info and accept payments once you click that it will give you different options so we have stripe paypal square and offline payments so i have already selected paypal and to do that once you have signed up with any of these platforms you click on this and click on connect to stripe and it will take you to a different website where you can log in using your credentials if you already have an account if you don't you can sign up with them and sign in on striking league now we have completed setting up the store part of the website one of the things I really like is it gives you the audience section. Now you can have a complete overview of your audience from your website, whether it's a full audience forms, people who have already submitted the forms will show up right here. Live chat customers, your past chat history will be displayed here and all the customers who have purchased will come up over here. Bookings will show right here and members who have subscribed to your service are going to be shown right here.